All right, so in the second segment, we're going to talk about supplier diversity, right? And so what a lot of times people don't realize is that there are programs in place and um, some stipulations a lot of times in place that a big corporation or a government agency, they have to use a portion of their budget for minority businesses, right? So, all right, can we go into that? Let's do it. All right, all right. So... So, all right. So, what's the deal with that? What's the deal? How does can, that? Can we, before we go to, can, can yeah. we define what a minority is? Well, that, sure. that might be important to know first, sir. Right? Well, oh yeah. Can we do that? We can do that. So, tied together, your question and your question, there are programs out there where companies have to do business with people who are underserved, and so the minority category is basically people of color. So it could be someone who's black, Asian, Latino. That is the minority community. Mm -hmm. The native community has their own as well, uh, but they're also a minority. You also have uh, veterans have their own category. So if we have folks here who are veterans who, who have served our country, that's another category, and women is another category. So you can belong to more than one category and actually try to go for business in each of these categories. Okay. But basically, if you're a person of color, you can go for the minority category. If you're a man or a woman, whatever you are. So can you walk me through, and we can go through L.A. It, um, yeah. Like, since we're in L.A., if I have a if I have a, a HVAC company okay. in, in Los Angeles, I'm African-American male, yeah. right? All right. How, what do I do? So let's say you're doing pretty good. Like, you, you, you're, you got your business going. You're, you've got customers. Like, you've got to be at the point where you're, you're operating. You're mm -hmm. doing not bad for yourself. you got your financials. Then you can start to go kind of for the big guns. Like, you can go for corporations. And corporations are buying stuff all the time. They're buying light bulbs. They're buying paper. They're buying, you know, things like that. And they're looking for vendors that are minorities that are from these categories. And in California, specifically, the utilities here have a general order that mandates, basically, uh, it makes it um, required that phone companies, the water companies, all these utility companies, they have to do business with minorities. Have to, have to, have to, is a law, okay? So that's set aside. So at least 15% of anything that they buy any people they hire have to be minorities. So if you think about that, it's set aside for us. Mm -hmm. So how do we get it, right? So that's the next question. So you have to get certified to show that you're a minority. And the, you have to prove it by going through different agencies that give you the certification. You fill out some forms, you show your financials, and then after some time you pay, like you pay a fee to do that, and then after some time you get the certification. And after that, you can start to try to pitch your business to these corporations, and you get in this special category where you can try to get that money. So in New York, I think it's called MWBE, Minority Women Business Enterprise. Enterprise. You got it, yeah. Um, and in order to be certified in New York, your business has to be, I think, in place for two years. Mm -hmm. And it's a long list of different things that you have to provide, right. profit and loss statements, you have to, all kinds of stuff, like corporation letter, and no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very long list, I know, because I've done it. Mm -hmm. So, is it the same in Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. It's the same across the country. Two, they, it's the same. They so, have the national, they have uh, a national uh, certification organization that does this, NMSDC. And then every region has their local version that helps give information about it. So it's the same across the country Okay. for everybody. So what you just described is completely accurate and it's the same across the country. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, so, okay. So, and then, f f correct me if I'm wrong, 51% of the ownership has to be a minor, because you could have a white partner, Right? right, you can have a white partner, but the, you got to own more than them. So you got to own fifty one percent. So you can't be. That's the thing. You, you can't, can't be, be messing face. around, and you can't be fake. And yeah. why did they do this? Is because white folks were mm -hmm. taking advantage, yeah. and so they're like, "Look, we need to make this a certification. It needs to be proof on paper that this is minority owned." OK, because that's what this is about. This is not about some fake thing that, you know, you're the face of it. No, this is to make things right for underrepresented individuals and communities that have not been served. And that's what this is for, is and, to make it right. 
You said the process takes two years? To no, get you have to be in business for two years. You have to be, how long yeah. does the process take, though? Like a few months. It, it's more how much paperwork you have in order. That's what takes time. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to get your stuff together. You have to get your paperwork together. That's what I do. I help uh, businesses get it together, and, and I do, like, consulting about that because sometimes they can be overwhelming. So so it's really important to try to just have your books in order and, and your paperwork together to try to get that ready. But after that, it just it doesn't take that long. Long. Okay. So, working in in LA. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been working in LA? Fifteen years. Fifteen. So, how many people that have businesses are aware of that of the program? There, are, it's more that they don't know about it, right? Or some people are like, "Oh, I don't need that. I'm good." Like, I'm fine with how I am. But the thing is, if you can go and get more, why don't you go and get more? Like, if you can do business with major companies, like brand names, I'm talking like Toyota or Honda or Boeing or Northrop Grumman or any brand name that you know has a version of this, why wouldn't you go and try? Because they're looking for us. They're looking for women. They're looking for minorities to do business with. It's set aside. They have people in those companies that are, their whole job is to go find minority businesses. Can you believe that? Yes. That's the whole, that's, <laughs> yeah. the, that's their whole job. Yeah. So, so a, a, have to do it. a minority is pretty much anybody that's not white, right? Right. Anybody's not white. That's right. Is a minority. Let's just say that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And obviously a woman, any, any woman. It can be a white woman. It can be a white woman, yeah, or okay. a black woman. Mm -hmm. Do you do you know like percentage wise, like who benefits the most from these programs? Um, you know, that's a good question. What I've seen, I mean, for the minority category, I feel like, uh, you know, it depends on the industry. So certain industries have more, right? So I don't want to stereotype, but that's what you see. So what you see on the world, what people are doing, that it reflects back into this. In, in your 15 years in the in this service, right? What, what's the the mo the largest amount you've seen allocated to a business? Millions. Millions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, like they they start small. You start small, but then it, it multiplies. It's this multiplier effect, and then they get a bigger contract, and then they go bigger, and then all of a sudden they're like running the whole thing, or they're going like to different regions. Right, and then after that, it's sky's the limit because what happens is the folks that are in these corporations, they're like, yo, 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 this person's good. You need somebody here? I'll refer you. So then they cross refer across the corporations. So then it's the same guy or the same woman or the same person getting more and more and more because they're trusted, they're known, they're like celebrated, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they're killing it. So all I'm saying is like, why don't we get more people in that pipeline? You well, know? Let me ask you this, because a lot of times in our communities, we, 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 we pick businesses that aren't scalable. What I mean okay. by that is- mm -hmm. Go ahead, run them down, Shadi. <laughs> a, a rest, even though all of these businesses can be scalable, but for mm -hmm. the most part, they're not. They're, they're local mom and pop restaurants, barbershops, sneaker stores, stuff like that, right? So these aren't, type of businesses, maybe a restaurant you can cater, but these aren't the type of businesses that are gonna get these these, these dollars from these corporate companies, right? So, right. from being in this industry That's right, for though. a long time, what, what are the most appealing businesses that can get money from large corporate? Like, what are they looking for? It's really everything. You walk through an office, what do you see? You see chairs, you see paper, you see light bulbs, they're buying everything. Um, it could be, there was a, one I saw recently, it was for hand lotion. I'm not kidding. So they're, they bid it out. And the thing is, they have to put it out to a bid to try to find minorities. If they don't get it, who gets it? The white folks. Mm. So if they don't find someone, if someone's not in that spot, it's gonna go to somebody. So why not have our people there? Why not have our people in that pipeline, right? So businesses like HVAC, like, Construction, plumbing. Like construction's plumbing. a big one. They can't find construction. Construction's huge. Construction's huge. It's not. It's not easy to start a construction it's company. It's not easy. I had a guy doing pest control. Like you, you can think pest of control. Another, another, another one. Another one. Pest control's yeah. huge. The pest control's huge. Yeah, yeah. HVAC, yeah. HVAC, HVAC is HVAC is pretty. It's pretty big business too, yeah. though. Because everybody needs HVAC on a certain level. Mm -hmm. You need it. Um, I think, didn't somebody reach out to us about pest control? And they were like, they're running this huge business doing mm -hmm. it and nobody knows about it. It's something that uh, we definitely want to, want to talk about. But is it, I'm just, yeah. I, I say yeah. that to say a lot of times we just have to think outside of the box and think different ways 
scalable business models. Yeah. Because a lot of times, like I said, you start a business, if it's not scalable, you, you're only going to go so far. That's right. On, mm-hmm. on your neighborhood. Right. And even if there's money allocated from corporations, they, they can't. It's not a fit. It's not going to do it's anything. Not, it's not going to do anything. Right. So, all right. You got certified. How do you find these? Is it like a, a database inside of the website to say, okay, HBO is looking for mm-hmm. construction? Like, how do they work? So, every company has their own uh, portal sometimes where you have to go and apply in there. And that's the biggest barrier because people have to go in each one and then apply, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but they're the certifying organization they also have a directory so nmsdc has a directory of suppliers and if you can keep that directory entry up to date people will come find you so that's another way where you get tapped and so i've done something where i've done some business with a a university and uh i filled out their database and now i'm in their database so if they ever need somebody they can tap it again like they know that they can find it uh, because i'm in there so once you're in it's great and it can work two ways you can try to pitch yourself or you can also be uh you know uh, tap for that and then on top of that, these nonprofits, like the chambers and stuff, they do networking events for the supplier diversity. So to tie it all together, back to the beginning, we're talking about all the different nonprofits that do programs. Another program is matchmaking. So they have these matchmaking fairs, matchmaking events where you roll up with your business cards. They have all the companies lined up. They have sessions for education. They have booths where all the companies are there waiting to meet you, and you can go shake hands and meet them. And it's all free. What's the name of this? It's all from. It's all supplier diversity. So supplier diversity matchmaking events. That's what it's called. So they're 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 ready. They're wanting to meet you. All you got to do is be ready with your stuff. Like if you have a one pager, which is uh, like a one page business sheet on what your business is in your business card and you get ready to make a good impression. So, so it's like a high level job fair almost? Yeah, okay. it, it's a matchmaking. Okay. It's like, it's like you speed know, dating. speed dating, speed yeah. Dating, yeah. <laughs> it's like speed dating. And, and, and they're there to help you. And even if you're not ready at that point, you will, if you make a good impression, they'll keep you in mind and then they nominate you for programs. So there are these programs where you get put in academy for, for entrepreneurs. Macy's had an academy for entrepreneurs. Mm. A friend of mine went through Macy's Academy for Entrepreneurs. She's a Latino woman. She's Latino and black. And she got put through Macy's Academy. Or um, there's another one, Goldman Sachs. It's called 10,000 Small Businesses. And you can go and you learn souped up financial education. So once you're past the financial literacy, you know, the foundational stuff, they teach you the next level. And, and if the company likes you, even though you haven't done business with them yet, they'll put you through that program to get you ready to do business with them. It's all to help. Yeah, the Goldman program is good. I actually know a few people that went through that. Oh, awesome. And they, um, mm-hmm. It's like a college course, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, they teach you high-level business planning and mm-hmm. how to you know succeed. A lot of times, most businesses fail because of lack of education. Mm. And planning, lack of planning. Right. Right. But uh, like they don't really know. They don't understand business. Mm-hmm. They might be passionate about what they do. Like if you're a restaurant owner, you might be a great chef. But if you don't understand payroll and you don't understand like what's the good time to open your restaurant, if you don't understand the basic bi- business principles, you're going to fail. Right. So this is what the podcast is about. But also it's, it's, it's important for people to seek resources outside of the podcast. Mm-hmm. So. It's, it's great information I should provide. And so one of the questions that I have was the bid. You had a, you said something about like the, um, the corporations, they, they bid, right? What is the, what's the bid oh, process? Yeah. So when you they're looking for something, that's called a request for proposals or they are looking for a bid. So a bid is like, it's like an auction, like I bid this. Like they're looking for you to bid your services. So you would go and say, I have this product and here's what my cost is if you want to hire me for my product or my service and i'm going to put my name in the hat to try to get that money or that contract and they'll review it and if it's between you and someone else and you have minority certification you will get it because they need those numbers they need to fulfill this quota that they have so it's worth it to get the certification if you're like no 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 i'm good like i 
can get it on my own. Like, sure, you can go and get it on your own, but if it's between you and someone else who has that certification, they're going to get it. So you might as well go and get it. Where, where do these bids take place and how often do they occur? So if you are in a good relationship with the co company, they will actually contact you and let you know when it's coming. So okay. that's one way. That's like the whole relationship thing. Like everything in the world, if you know someone, you're gonna find out. More, yeah. So that's one thing. The other one is these fairs. They tell you when there are upcoming bids. So at those booths I was just talking about, they'll hand out papers and say, we have this stuff coming up. It's not out yet, but it will be. And then another thing is they might have an online portal where they have uh, you know information that they share. So if you're in the category of that service, like I, I do training consulting, so I'm on these directories. So I will get an email that says, hey, we've got uh, a bid out for this, these services. And then it'll say what services and I can decide if I wanna apply for or not. So those are a few ways that you can find out. And then the nonprofits also get contacted like, yo, like we need someone now, like we need this person. So that happened with my friend with pest control where they're like, yo, like we need a pest control company. So I sent my, um, my client out and he got to do a walkthrough of this like major uh, venue here in LA and I was so proud of this Filipino guy. Mm -hmm. um, and he's walking with all these like major companies and he had a shot, right? It's because he knew me through a nonprofit. That wasn't out on some internet website. That was because someone like emailed me and was like, hey look, you know anyone? I'm like, yeah, I know someone, I'll send them right now. Dope. So it, it's, it's all, all of the different ways. So do the, does the lowest bidder always get the job or? No, it's a few things. They want to trust you. Okay. They want to see your track record. They also want to see your potential. Mm -hmm. And they will give it a shot if they think that like you'll do good. 